Welcome to the show! Yeah! The solution is so easy. We have to get back to putting people first. You don't have to be an eco-warrior, just don't be an eco-waster. The ones who cycle to work, grow their own organic vegetables, have a wind turbine in their garden, wear only hemp, refuse to use soap or detergent like some kind of fully organic whole wheat lentil munching tofu eco-warrior that hates leather and makes their children's shoes out of kelp. <laughs> the eco-waster is quite easy to describe. It's basically a man driving a Hummer. You've got to tune them with a, a sign. Same when you see the woman in the Fortuna, the guy in the Hummer. The yo 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 eco waster. <laughs> you, you eco mother, 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 mother waster, waster, mother, wait, I'm a warrior. <laughs> From Scarborough. Right, just one, two, three. Yo waster. <laughs> because women should know better. Women are more connected with nature, yes? Yes. 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 That was a man's yes. voice. Well done. <laughs> and it was quite low considering how hard she was gripping. <laughs> Buying stuff you don't really need, that kind of retail therapy where the advertising industry tells you you need to buy this and you'll be happy. And if you're, if you're a real man, you'll drive this car. And you're not a real man if you don't wear these clothes and buy this watch. And consumer trap that we're stuck in. This cycle that goes around and around and you can't get out of it. You can't suddenly buy your happiness. But that's what advertising has taught us. Please yeah. yeah. find it. It's more than you think. It's something. It's, you're on the way. What, what, and how many of you got those clear bags? The, the clear... The bag. So now everybody on your street knows exactly <laughs> how much alcohol you drink in one week. Look, you walk down my street, it's like alcoholic, 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 alcoholic. <laughs> Muslim, alcoholic, alcoholic, alcoholic. <laughs> The American dream. The dream is freedom. Freedom to consume as much as you like. To overconsume, to be greedy, to take more than your fair share. The American dream has turned out to be a nightmare for the rest of us. We're now conditioned to aspire to this never-ending hip-hop video of life. With big cars and bootylicious babes and big cristal and bling bling and beer guts. And now climate change syndrome. <laughs> when you're really hungover on a Monday morning, you just throw up your glasses. Out. I'm not coming into work today. The wife's got PMS. I've got CCS. I'm too depressed. My carbon footprint's huge. I can't get in my car. I've planted a tree in ages. I've run out of clear bags. I hate my shoes. They're made of leather. Because there's this kind of, like I said, this polarised, you know, warrior waster. What tips me towards the side of warrior? is the fact that I do have kids. And it makes you realise that time is everything. And time is marching on for all of us. And I feel like we're losing each other in our families. No, no, I just wondered, is this actually pointing at you? Is it? Can you... Is it working? Okay, good. I'm going to give you multiple choice questions, and tonight you get a chance to win these eco-friendly, carbon-neutral sunglasses from Von Zipper. Hey. Three litres of water to iron, okay? Is this because, A, your steam iron is extremely inefficient, B, the power consumed one kilowatt hour requires three litres of water to be produced at the power station. Or C, your domestic worker drinks up to eight cups of tea while she does it. <laughs> we cause the extinction of over 20,000 species every year. That we do, humans. And with climate change, it looks like we could be causing our own. It could be all over in a, in a couple of hundred years. Even sooner, there's a chance that your children might never see grandchildren. You don't have to be an eco-warrior, just don't be an eco-waster. You put people first and treat everybody like you would your own family. Act like you would at home with your family. Don't take more than you need. Be fair. It's simple, really. All you've got to do is be kind, have fun, and spend more time with your kids, because life is very short. We're going to cope better than some of the developed countries, because if you grew up in England, it's a nanny state. Everything's done for you. If you grew up here, you mark a plan. If you grew up here, you know how to cope with Adversity, there's growth through adversity. There's incredible, creative, inspirational people in this country that I've met. That's why I love this country so much. It breeds a hardened, adaptable, resilient kind of person. You mark a plan, you mark a plan, yes? And that plan is usually a double brandy and coke. <laughs> it's more of a psychological problem than it is a scientific problem. Climate change. The psychological aspect we've got to get to grips with is that we can't change the climate today, but we can change our children so they can deal with it better tomorrow. It's not really so much about a better planet for our children, it's about leaving 
better children for our planet. Greed, enough is never enough. And that's why I'm leaving. I've had enough. I'm going. This is what this is. This is the other Africa clockwise. Going clockwise around Africa. Kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it, really? We're doing 60,000 kilometers in this track we leave next. Working together without each other, we are nothing. Ubuntu. I am because you are the interconnection of our human family. You know there's an unwritten rule, this connection between all of us here to make it happen, that when you pull over, the person going past will flash their hazard warning lights. Blinker, 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 to say thank you, and then you feel good. Flash, 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 to say thank you for you. Blinker, blinker, saying thank you for them indicating and pulling over. And then you see them flashing their headlights, so you give them a wave in the rear of your mirror to say thank you for them, saying flash, flash, thank you for you going blinker, 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 thank you for them indicating and pulling over. Eventually, both of you have to get out of your cars and have sex on the hard shoulder. <laughs> What an amazing country. I love this country. Do you love this country? Yes! Yeah. What a country. You make it happen. And luckily, we were already sponsored by Liberty Healthcare. Uh, they sponsored us for the trip. We haven't left. I've already claimed. <laughs> Great company. I really take my hat off to them. Thank you for them. If I, wouldn't, if I didn't have them, I wouldn't have had the money for the MRI. I went to hospital. And I can go around Africa in my truck with my family and hopefully change my children and find an alternative value system. And I can do that. That was an incredible thing to realise. And... I know now it wasn't the magnet, was it? The magnet can't have an effect on your body, can it? No. Although strangely, ever since then, I've only been able to have sex facing north. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that's the way I'm heading, so it should be fine. I'll see you in a couple of years. Oh! Please spread the word and find me on Facebook. Follow us, africaclockwise.co.za.